Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Group Review. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. What I have here is the Thermares X-Therm sleeping pad. And this just happens to be one of my favorite pieces of gear. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now with this series here, my favorite gear, I go over products that really have performed well for me. Pieces that I would trust to take out anywhere. And this just happens to be one of those pieces of gear. When it comes to sleeping pads, there are a ton of them out on the market. And this one right here is one that I would use year round. And I have used it year round for many years. You guys have seen this off and on for years now. And even to this day, it continues to be one of my favorite pieces of kit. With this air mattress right here, it is not self-inflating, so you either have to blow in it or you can use the stuff sack because right here at the bottom is a hole for you to put the nozzle into and you could blow it up that way. It's very, very simple to do. As you can see here, there's that hole. Stick your arm inside of the bag and then push that hole over and around the nozzle. You just roll it up and you push all of the air inside of the sleeping pad. If it's not gonna be freezing conditions, you can blow in it. Now, as I blow up this sleeping pad, I will go over some information for you all. The materials are a ripstop nylon and polyester fabric. The top material is the ripstop nylon, and that is 30D. The bottom material is a 50D polyester. It is available in one color, which you see right here, and it's kind of a silver green color. When it comes to sizes, there are two available, a regular and a large. The regular size is 72 inches by 20 inches, and it offers you two and a half inches of cushion. The large size is 77 inches long, 25 inches wide and offers you the same two and a half inches of cushion. This sleeping pad is designed for the colder months, but you can use it in the summer as well. It offers you an R value of 5.7. As you guys can see here, this sleeping pad has the mummy shape to it. When it comes to the weight, this model right here is the regular size and this comes in at 15 ounces. With the large size, that is 20 ounces. Now when it comes to cost, you're looking at roughly $150 depending on what website you're looking at what time of day it is, right? It seems like the prices on Amazon change all the time, but you're going to pay roughly $150 for this sleeping pad. Now, when it comes to my experiences with this sleeping pad, I have spent so many nights on this pad. I really, I can't count them all. I mean, you're talking about hundreds, honestly. I've had no issues with this pad at all. No leaks, no punctures, no issues, zero. That right there is a good testament just to how strong and durable this product is. I have plenty of sleeping pads, you guys know this, and I have developed issues with many of them. So far, so good with this one right here. This is the Thermares X-Therm Neo Air, I should state that. This is the regular size, it's made in the United States, very warm, 5.7 R value. I've camped out on this pad right here all the way down to negative 10, negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit, that's cold right on the ground with just this pad alone and i've stayed very warm really no issues as soon as you lay down on top of this pad you could feel that heat bouncing back it has a reflective material on the inside that really radiates that heat back to you now if you want more information about the materials about the technology behind this look for my review that i did in the past in that video i went over every single detail the purpose of the My Favorite Gear series is to give you an overview of the products, which I really, really like. So there you go. But yeah, very warm. It's funny, I've gone out camping with my wife before, and she always asks for this pad right here. This one keeps her the warmest out of all of them. She sleeps cold, I sleep hot. So it's funny, I could go out camping, and I'll plan for it, I'll pack for it. I, I have this pad for myself, another pad for Susie, and what do you know? She sees this pad and she's like, uh-uh, I want that one. <laughs> and that's because it is just very, very warm. It's very comfortable. She's claimed dibs on it. I use it when she's not around, right? But yeah, just a, it really is a fantastic sleeping pad. Is it worth $150? In my opinion, yes, yes it is. Well worth it. That's not to say that you can't get a less expensive sleeping pad and it won't treat you right, because that's not the case. 
But when it comes to function, when it comes to durability, this thing right here is right at the top of my list. It, it really is that good. It's also not super heavy by any means, less than one pound for the regular size, 15 ounces, huge thumbs up. Very small form factor. You can easily stick this inside of your backpack. You're not gonna notice it. Now with the R value being so high, 5.7, you are probably wondering if I use this in the summertime. Yes, I do. For the summertime, this happens to be one of my favorite sleeping pads. And the reason's pretty simple. I've noticed with my testing over the years with this pad, I could carry this warmer sleeping pad and I could carry a lighter insulation layer on top and stay perfectly comfortable and warm even on those, you know, summer nights. So, you know, typically in the summer, I still like to have a blanket here in the mountains. So I could go with a very thin, very lightweight fleece blanket, this pad right here, and I could leave the weight of the sleeping bag at home because of this pad, because it's warmer. That's pretty impressive. I have not yet had a night where I was too hot thanks to this pad. If I was warm, I kind of pulled off the blanket. Equalizes the temperature, nice and comfortable. Now, of course, that may be different for you. Not everybody lives here in the high up mountains. So, you know, here in the mountains in the summertime, the high might be 80 degrees, and that's pretty uncommon. But let's say it's 80 degrees at nighttime, it will still get down to 60 degrees sometimes into the 50s, so. Your mileage will vary depending on where you are at, where you're from, where you're camping at, so on and so forth. Oh yeah. Now when it comes to cons, there's not many. You could say price, yeah, it's expensive. What about sound, what about noise? You know, there's some slight noise to this pad. Is it bad? No, not in my opinion. Some people will complain about it. They're not gonna be able to sleep on this pad because of the noise. I am someone who can sleep on this. I can roll around all night long because I dream like mad. I, I toss and turn all night long and it does not wake me up. I mean, it kind of sounds like you're on a bag of potato chips, but I mean, that's only when you're moving, you know, as soon as you get comfortable and you're in your position, the noise goes away. To me, it's just not an issue. I'm very comfortable sleeping outdoors. I can sleep through just about anything while at the same time being alert enough to know when something's around. That's a skill that you will acquire when you spend a lot of time outdoors. I could roll around on this and it can make noise. It doesn't wake me up. If I hear a footstep outside, I will know it and wake up. But for most people, noise will not be an issue. If you're highly sensitive, you may want to look at a different product, plain and simple. I will go ahead and deflate this sleeping pad so you guys can see just how small of a form factor it really is. But again, just an awesome product. The easiest way to roll this pad up is essentially just to do a roll like this, get all the air out of it. Okay, so once I got the air out of it, Roll it back down. I'm going to fold this into threes. One, two, three. Getting the last bit of the air out of it. So right there you have it. Very small form factor, smaller than a Nalgene water bottle. All right guys, so there you have it. That is the Thermarest Xtherm Neo Air sleeping pad. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces of gear. It really has treated me well over the years. No complaints at all from my perspective. Is it for everyone? Possibly not. If you're a very sensitive sleeper, if you're uncomfortable in the outdoors and the slightest thing wakes you up, you may want to find a sleeping pad that's quieter than this one right here. For me personally, it's just not an issue. The noise it, I, it just doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't wake me up. It doesn't affect me. This sleeping pad right here is definitely the first one that I reach to when I go out backpacking. That includes the summer and the winter, the spring and the fall. It's that good. Pricey, yes. Lightweight, warm, yes, yes. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Strength and honor. Be well. <laughs>